and I am on my way to an appointment and then I don't have a whole lot left to do after that. I'm gonna take off. <clears throat> Let's see if anyone joins the conversation this morning. Hey Shirley, good morning. I'm driving so I can't really look too much at that screen. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. I got Benny in the back. He's in the, he's in my son's baby seat. <laughs> good morning, Noel, good morning, Jake. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Morton, good morning. Will, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> Uh, the title here is Let's Go Beyond. I believe it says go, yeah, let's go beyond. And I took that from uh, Mark 115. Hey, to be honest with you, I haven't really picked up the Bible a whole lot in the last, I in a while really. I mean, they're just, all these scriptures are in me. And, you know, I, I honestly read the Bible in certain books and I listen to certain things to uh, encounter or to they help me to re they help me to remember what's always been true or to encounter uh, the one who is within me and is me and 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 so uh, I drift off a lot I love any teachings or any books or any uh, videos or podcasts or I can watch myself and I'll drift off in uh, trances and daydreams and just the revelation starts to flow. But lately I've really been stuck on uh, eternal, eternity, infinite, those types of things and what that actually means. <clears throat> and I put a post up the other day that, that had some questions. Questions are great. So as I speak right now, in this little short amount of time and if you're listening and watching, if questions start to bubble up, those questions are great. That is our Holy Spirit, your Holy Spirit, speaking to you through questions. And so what do we do with those questions? What do I do? And, uh, and I'm just making suggestions here, but what I do is I contemplate, I focus on, I think about, I meditate on those questions until the answers come. And what has really been going on is the answers have been coming pretty quickly. <laughs> as soon as the questions come, the answers start to come. And then another question comes and another answer comes and I'm staying my mind on him who is true, on God. And those that stay their mind on the one true God are kept in per perfect peace. You're keeping yourself in perfect peace. So let's go beyond. Jesus said in Mark 1.15, said the time has been fulfilled. So the time is now is what he's saying. And then the, our translation say, uh, he said, repent, believe and believe the good news that the kingdom, of, believe the gospel that the kingdom of God is here. What it should say is the time is fulfilled. The time is now. That word metanoia or repent, a lot of people say it means shift or change the way you're thinking, but let's go a little further. I see it as saying, if you look into the words, it, it says, it's saying, go beyond, Jesus was saying, good morning, Cam, go beyond your current mindset, go beyond your current understanding to believe this crazy, radical good news that the, that I've come to, to, to bring, to show you, to tell you that in, in to, so you could experience the kingdom of God is here now he told the pharisees what are you searching the scriptures for eternal life eternal life is right here standing in front of you and then he and then he also says the kingdom of god is within you why are you looking all out there the kingdom of god is within you it's a now word right now and so eternal life to know god is eternal life to experience to experientially know God, Chris, what's up, brother? To experience, experientially know God, the one true God, is eternal, ageless life. Endless, ageless, Zoe life now. 
So what does this mean? If I'm if I'm eternal, have I always been eternal? Because if I if I if I say that no, I haven't always been, and if I say that I was just created out of nothing, that my life started in my mother's womb, or even if I say my life just started when God thought about me and started my life, I'm saying I'm not eternal. But God says we're but we're eternal. Uh oh, somebody's trying to call. That's Roach trying to call me. So, if I'm eternal, the very definition or infinite means endless, unlimited. Eternal means having no beginning and having no ending. So, if I'm eternal, it means I had no beginning and I have no ending. I'm eternal. And if I'm eternal, have I always been, and if I've always been, first off the question rings up, who have I always been, and how is this possible? And here's my next question. Have I always been one with God? What's up, Roach? Cam's on here, brother. Have I always been one with God? And if I've always been one with God, have I always been one with as God, not just me, many now, there's many, 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 many. And if I've always been one with God, did I agree to be visible here now? Was there an agreement that was made? Just as I have to agree today with this truth or with any truth. I can resist it, or I can agree. God says you're supernatural. I can resist it and say, no, I'm only natural, or I can agree. God says to raise the dead. I can resist that truth, or I can agree that the dead can and will and are being raised and are raised in different ways, physically, spiritually, everything. God, Jesus said the blind will see, the lame will walk, the lepers will be cleansed, the dead will be raised. Now I can resist that truth or I can believe it. Now, if I'm eternal, which is true, means I have no beginning, I have no end, and I've always been one with God, means I've always been one in God, one of the many cells, the many lights within God. Remember, that mankind was the light of life in him. The source, the origin, the source in which all life is derived, God, Elohim, is many of one, or many as one, and one as many. You, me, saints of old, and saints to come. And even those that didn't agree to come. Heavenly hosts, you name it. <clears throat> so, we're unlimited, we're limitless, potentials are limitless, ideas are limitless, and at the same time, they are limited. And let me tell you what I mean. As we ascend into heavenly thought, as I'm talking and you have questions and you drift off and you go into trances, capture what is being said. Capture the ideas that come, capture the questions, because those are the unlimited, the limitless ideas that we created together because we've always been one. Now they're limited if we don't if we choose not to grasp them. If we choose not to believe this is a God idea. <laughs> this is an idea that we created before together in harmony. So here here's my um okay let's take today. God is not controlling you. I can get back in the right lane if I want to, or I can stay in this left lane right here and I can go to my appointment. Watch this. Okay. I'm choosing to get in the right lane right now. Uh-oh. God did not control me and make me stay in that left lane and take a left. See, this is the truth. God does not control Everything is done in love. Everything is done in harmony. Everything is done by agreement. 
God is wooing and drawing everyone to the truth that's always been the truth in love. So check this out. If we've always if we're eternal means we've always been. <clears throat> to say that you only just began or to say that God said let me by myself God make or create something out of nothing and let me create Alec. You're not eternal. And if you say when Jesus came I became eternal, you're not eternal. Because the truth about eternal by definition means you have no beginning and you have no end. Now this is going to rock some people. It, it's going to make you question everything. Why did Jesus really come? What was he really revealing? If Jesus was fully God and fully man and Jesus came to reveal the truth of you by revealing the truth of himself or revealing the truth of God, what's that saying to us? That you're fully God and you're fully man. In mankind's, in our own resistance to this truth that we are spirit and only spirit and that one spirit is the spirit of God, so we are the spirit of God. In our resistance to this truth, we have failed to do the greater works of God because we're resisting the truth of who we are. We're resisting our equality with God. That's why the scripture says, let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. He did not account it as something that he had to attain. He did not account his equality with God as something he had to attain because he already was and he had always been one, equal, meaning no distinctions, no differentiation. Even our unique individual characteristics and personalities are God's uniqueness, our uniqueness as an individual. So if we if we are eternal, if we're eternal, and I'm saying if because you got to answer these questions for yourself. If we are eternal, we, means we have no beginning and we have no end. And if I've always been one with God, meaning I am and I was and I am and I and I always will be the light of life in him. Then if I go back to Genesis 126, where it says, God said, let us make mankind in our image and our exact likeness. Who is the us and who is the our? I know Roach, you know the answer because me and you talk about this. Who is the us and who is the our? told Jeremiah, I knew you before I ever formed you in your mother's womb. If you go beyond, if you can, if you can go beyond your current understanding and you can go beyond your mother's womb, you will find the truth of who you've always been. And you'll find the truth of all of humanity and all of mankind. You'll find where you're from. You'll find who's, who's you are. You find, you'll find that you are your source. And your source is the, is the very source in which all life is derived from. So you are the source in which all life is derived from because you are one as your source. You came out of your source and your source is God. But we've always been one with God. So we said, let me change it up and give you my translation of Genesis 126. We said together in harmony, as a community of cells within God, yield it to the one mind, the one thought and idea of God, Christ. Yield it to the one sound of God, focused entirely on the one thought and idea, pro producing or emitting a sound, converting into a light, producing an image in which we are. We said together in harmony, let us be visible. You've always been one if you've always been eternal and you bought and the eternal truth is we've always been one with God Jesus came with the eternal truth I and the father are one we are that was not just for Jesus he's the firstborn of many brethren he was a son in which you are also a son 
No one's discrediting Jesus. This is magnifying what Jesus did and who he was and why he came. We're not here to convert people. Jesus didn't come to change or convert people. Mankind has always been the same yesterday, today, and forever, but mankind was not aware of this truth that I'm bringing you right now. And because mankind was not aware, we were projecting and experiencing our awareness. As a man believes in his heart, so will he be. So will your experience be. So now that we know the truth, Jesus came to reveal the truth of who we've always been. He came to expel the lie, distinguish, destroy the lie of sin and death. And sin is the lie that we are separate, that we're not like God, that we're different, distorted image. And death is produced out of that mindset. So when I go beyond this current and I say, you know what, that resonates, that is the truth. I'm taking hold of that truth. I'm going to contemplate on that truth. I got many questions, but I'm going to contemplate. I'm going to meditate. I'm going to focus on these questions and the answers are going to come. And as I believe this in my heart, my mouth's going to speak because I see a future hope in reality. I see what Martin Luther King saw. I see what John Lennon saw. I see what Bob Marley saw. I see what Isaiah saw. I see what the angel, the messenger that came when Jesus was born and said, peace on earth and goodwill towards all men. I see what Isaiah saw. They'll beat their tools of war in the pruning hooks and plowshares in the gardening tools. It speaks of peace on earth and goodwill towards all men. It speaks of love. I see this. Now that I see this future hope and this reality, this future hope and this reality, this idea from God that we're all from the same place. We're all the same family. We are ju all just as equal and just as our father is because we came out of our father. He is the source and we're all our source. When I see this, what happens is this is what's going to happen. Your current reality is going to shake and your current reality is going to crumble because now I've got to move into this new reality. I've got to quit living from the external and I got to learn to live within. I've got to learn to manifest. I've got to learn that this kingdom that I'm sitting in, that we all made together, this earth that I'm in, on right now, that we all made together, we all manifest it together in the one thought and idea, the one mind, the one sound of God, Christ, has all been set up to bring things to me as a son of God. You're more than a victory. You're, 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 more, you're more than a conqueror because you never had to conquer. Everything comes to us when we see this. Everything comes to us because your heart is the musical instrument that puts off the language and the sound of the substance, which is faith, that aligns the vibrational pattern to hold together your reality or your future hope and reality. That brings it all together and brings it all to you. It starts to align. And what, and, and what your, your external body or your, mind, your man mind is going to try to tell you is you need to make it happen. It's going to try to show you things that make it look like it's not happening. That's where we have to let all our earth be silent and know I am God. I know it's far out there, but this is where we're at. We've been talking about it and talking about it and talking about it, but now it's time to experience. It's time to act in that way. The work is the Lord fills his holy temple in which I am. I am. Let all my earth be still before him who is true, which is me. We all must have an encounter with ourselves in Christ as Christ sitting on the throne exalted and lifted high just as Isaiah did have a great day today love you all it's deep but we're going deep I can't stop now see you later